Wow, what a game. Guys, Manchester United have just beaten Brighton 3-2 and I don't know how. I absolutely don't know how we got away with that. We are the luckiest mother truckers ever. Like, I'm really happy to have the win. I'm really happy to have three points and finally start going up in the table. That's what Manchester United should be doing. But I'm furious over that. I just think that's absolutely disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Um, like we were so lucky. I'm going to go through the stats because I found this insane. We're just lucky that Brighton are so shit at finishing because they had so many, so many chances, especially on the left. I don't know how many crosses were put in. They were just allowed whack crosses in as freely as they wanted. Now, don't get me wrong, I think Aaron Wambasaka did very well, tackle-wise, but he should not be allowing this player get crosses in. It should not happen. That needs to be sorted out. Anyway, possession. Brighton had more possession. Doesn't surprise me. They had nearly 54% possession. And they had five shots on target, which, fair play to David De Gea. He definitely pulled off a couple of good saves. And we got very lucky. Um, and then they had 18 shots overall. 18. They've hit the woodwork numerous times. We were so lucky. And the, we, the, the crossfire was rattled late in the game as well. Um, just absolutely crazy. There was a few times when instead of Brighton just, you know, looking for the goal and hitting it in and relaxing, they were just trying to smash it. Because you know how it is, high tempo game, they just want to score and sometimes emotion comes into it and you're just drilling the ball as hard as you can. Um, and that's what happened to them. I think they were just, they kind of lost composure in that sense and they, they just weren't finishing. Thank God. Thank God. Because that was just a Disgraceful. Um, they had 665 touches, more than Manchester United. Again, doesn't surprise me. We were absolute pony. We were shit. Um, tackles, we put in more tackles. Clearances, they had four. We had 21. Like, come on. This is absolutely ridiculous. We're playing Brighton here. Brighton. Um, offside, they had one. We had four. We're, we're just crap. Like, so, something needs to change. This is absolute madness. Now, I'm, I'm annoyed at Ollie for a few things today. You know me, I love Ollie Gunnar Solskjaer. I don't really want to go in on him. I don't really want to complain about him. But I do have a few issues. I'll go into that in a few minutes. But um, we started the game all right. I definitely think we looked alive in the first few minutes. Um, we came close. With, uh, Anthony Martial was just doing his thing, which was very good. Then Mason Greenwood puts one in the back of the net. Um, but it was deemed offside, so, which it was offside. Um, but it was a very good finish, you, you know, Greenwood is just brilliant, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, they get an early, 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 can't talk, they get an early penalty, um, which for me, Tarek Lamptey, great little uh, right back, great, a little, he is little, um, great little player, but I don't think that was a penalty, it was a very, very soft penalty, but look, it, get, it gets given, I felt very, um, it was sad for David De Gea because I don't think he deserved that. But, uh, you know, cheeky cheeky penalty by Mape takes it. Penenka's the ball in. Um, De Gea goes the wrong way anyway. But uh, just so cheeky. So cheeky to do that. Especially against Manchester United. It just shows how much of a joke we are, to be honest. So, yeah, 1-0. Um, and then we... We get to pull one back. Thank God. We get to pull one back just before half time, so we're going into half time. One off, time to redeem ourselves. Okay, let's go. Um, but I think it was deemed uh, an on goal by Dunk, but actually it came off Harry Maguire. So finally, Harry Maguire gets a goal, and the free kick was taken. It was a well deserved free kick, it was in a good position, crossed in, and um, not dealt with by the Brighton defenders. So Maguire puts it in. Happy days, one off. I felt, okay, right, now it's time to get our acts together and let's do this. Um, but that wasn't to be because Manchester United don't do anything easy. They don't do anything the way they should. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Now, sorry I'm taking so long. I'm using my iPad, which is shit. 
Okay, so, yeah, they've awarded the own goal instead of Maguire, but I think it came off Maguire. Um, a lot of yellow cards in the game, to be honest, a lot. Um, <clears throat> okay. Then, Marcus Rashford gets close, right? Sorry about that gap there, guys. Marcus Rashford gets close. Um, we're doing shit, to be honest, throughout the game. We're doing bad. Brighton are all over us most of the time. They're attacking more. We just can't get up. And when we are up, there's people not even running into the box. Shit. Um, Rashford gets unlucky because he was offside. He did finish the ball quite well, but offside. Um, a few minutes later, thankfully, he gets another chance. And I was screaming at the TV. I was like, come on, do something. But he took it so well. Uh, and very confident, he was just like, this is going in the back of the net and I accept nothing less. So fair play to him, he did really well, sent the defender for hot dogs and whacked it um, in the top right hand corner pretty much. Very good goal and well done to Marcus Rashford. So we get up, we're 2-1, which I don't know how, I really don't know how because we did not deserve to be 2-1 uh, and then late in the game. Very, very late, what was it, 91st, 92nd minute, finally... Not finally because it was good, but finally March actually puts one, puts one in, um, heads it in. Not dealt with it well enough. I think Bruno should have been on him. Um, so late in the game, we cannot be giving any players this space. Uh, I don't think Wan-Bissaka had a very good game in that sense. I, uh, earlier on I said yes, his tackles were good, but overall, defensively, not so good. Not so good. Um, Lindelof shit, made me shit myself many, many times. Uh, that stray pass on the sideline as well, like literally, you can't even put a 10-yard pass together. Disgrace, absolute disgrace. But um, yeah, so March scores a goal. Solly March gets it to all. I thought that was it. Ref blows it up. I'm fuming. I didn't even realize that there was a handball call. Oh, God. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Sun shining in there, can't see. Um, but anyway, so... With this handball commotion at like when the whistle has just blew, I was like, this can't be, this can't be. One, we don't deserve it. One, we do not deserve it. And two, I didn't even see it. I was like, what? So obviously VAR checks it. And yes, it is a handball by uh, Mape, the one who connected David De Gea. Why is this shining in so bad? Sorry, guys. There we are. And um, so yeah, obviously when I... When I saw the replay, I was like, okay, it's a penalty. You cannot, you cannot say it's not, so it has to be given. And as soon as I knew it was a penalty, I knew who was going to step up. Bruno Fernandes, and he's going to smash it in. And Bruno Fernandes is so good on penalties. I, he doesn't even scare me. And at the start, the first one or two, I was a bit worried because his, his run-up, and that's his way of doing it. And, you know, <laughs> Jorginho has missed quite a few doing that and I just I used to rant about him taking penalties that way so now when I saw Bruno doing that I was like no but uh no very confident in him and I knew he's gonna score we're gonna win this and obviously I want the three points and I'm delighted to to beat Brighton 3-2 but we did not deserve that we did not deserve it at all Um, I did feel happy for the win especially because the Brighton manager when they equalised and it was too old he was like yeah delighted 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 yes of course emotion takes over and that's how you act but nothing gives me more pleasure to see um, you know celebrations like that knocked on their asses when you know they then come back and lose um, so yeah that was our li our our latest goal in, in probably, I don't know if ever, but in the last 10, 20 years or something like that, I heard the pundits say that is the latest Premier League goal. So it was uh, 100 minutes in. And uh, yeah, like, so happy to get the win. So happy. But fuming. Fuming. Uh, bringing Bailey on, I think, was a good decision in a way that we needed to defend. But... It didn't really do much because Brighton kept coming at us anyway. And then they ended up scoring anyway. So it didn't really do anything. Um, bringing Van de Beek on, definitely a good idea. Not early enough. He brought him on with four minutes to go. And I think it was Van de, Van de Beek was involved in, in getting that penalty. And he was, you know, battling up there. So, you know, I just feel like I would have liked him to see Van de Beek come on earlier. Um, Daniel James was dropped which I understand because probably not good enough is he 
Um, starting Lindelof for me, I was really hoping Eric Bailey would would be starting, just because I think he's he's so good and obviously he's not injured right now, so let's just play him. Um, he's brilliant. He's bold. He's confident. And um, he gets shit done, and he's fearless. That's what I like about Eric Bailey. <sighs> but man, that was just heart wrenching stuff. I was like, I was sitting there, terrified. Like, honestly, ma being a Manchester United fan is hard enough anyway. And um, you know, your nerves are always gone. But that game today was probably one of the worst games ever, and um, in the past few years for me, I just. I was so anxious. My heart was going 90. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and seeing the players after the game, you know, celebrating that win, they were just buzzing because Bruno scored the penalty. You know, I understand the excitement, but they should really bow their heads down, hang their heads in shame because that was just disgusting. Disgusting. Um, yeah, I don't know. David De Gea, I must say, well done to him. Um, it's going to be kind of tough this season, I know with Dean Henderson um, breathing down his neck, Dean Henderson is a quality goalkeeper and De Gea, just to pull off the, the save towards the end there was just brilliant. Um, you know, and any mistake David De Gea makes, he's just put under the spotlight, scrutinised. He's He can't afford to be making any mistakes and he, he did very well today and delighted, you know, delighted to get the three points but at the end of the day, we're Manchester United, we should not be battling like this against Brighton. No no disrespect to Brighton. They were very good um, except for obviously finishing. But uh yeah no things things need to change. We need to get players in. Our defence is shocking. Our defence is shocking. I think McGuire did alright today. He definitely did well um, and getting up to get that, that first well the, the first equaliser um brilliant. But no, I think Lindelof, it, it, he's he's good in his own way. He's a good defender, but he's not good for Manchester United. He's not good um, alongside Harry Maguire, and I think Bailey needs to be starting. But anyway, guys, I'm going on way too much about this match. So let me know what you thought of the game. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of you going to be in the comments giving out, being angry, and I fully, fully understand. I respect it because I, I feel the same. Delighted to get the win. I'm sure we all are. But man, this is this can't happen. This cannot be happening. We need to now take these three points and just say, right, now we go forward. The only thing I'm absolutely buzzing about is the fact that I put Bruno Fernandes as my fantasy football captain. Because I think he had like four points. Um, and then obviously that was doubled to eight because he was my captain. So now he has 18. And that's not including bonus points if he's given any. So yeah, that's the only positive I can take from the game. Um... Mason didn't do too well. Rashford's goal, very good. A nice positive. It's nice to see Rashford scoring again. Um, two, two goals in two games. But yeah, lads and ladies, let me know what you thought of the game. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. I know it's a small little channel, but I'd like to up it a little bit. It's growing very, very slowly. So please um, hit like, hit share if you can. And I will see you for the next video. We've started the weekend off with a win, early game. We've won. Now let's enjoy the rest of our weekend. Enjoy, guys. I'll chat to you next, next time.